this segment we are looking at hypothesis testing at a 5% level of significance and this is a one directional test which is called the one tail test so when we do this test we first propose a null hypothesis and then we also propose an alternative hypothesis and based on the p value that we obtain we will either accept the null hypothesis or uh, reject the null hypothesis now this table over here is a guide so if the p-value we obtain is greater than 0.05 then there is insufficient evidence against the null hypothesis and we would continue to accept the null hypothesis however if the value is less than 0.05 then we accept the alternative hypothesis this table is a guide so let's look at a question here so our soft drink manufacturing facility labels the cans as 200 ml like all manufacturing processes a level of tolerance is accepted and in this case it is documented to be a standard deviation of 4 milliliters a sample set of 25 cans is taken from this packaging unit and their average is found to be 196 milliliters of soft drink per can state the null and alternative hypothesis in this case and then based on this will it be a valid conclusion to suggest that this unit actually underfills the cans so before we proceed we first need to set up a hypothesis so our hypothesis is we are actually investigating underfilling so it is a one-sided test and the null hypothesis says that the average volume a can holds is exactly 200 ml whereas the alternative hypothesis we are saying that the can actually holds less than 200 ml and in our case it is 196 ml that we are looking at so that's the alternative hypothesis so for us to do this test we will be actually using a statistical test so let's go to uh, number six which is statistics and there we find number seven is stat tests and under uh, number seven we find the very first test is the z test now we are dealing with statistical data so we don't have raw data so we need to go and uh, change that there and we are going to select statistics now this brings up a template and the template is pretty straightforward over here we actually put the actual mean which is uh, 200 for us and then the standard deviation is uh, 4 we enter that and uh, I tab into the next cell whereby the average we are testing for is 196 and then the sample size was 25 now the alternative hypothesis is what we need to uh, check over here and we are saying new mean is less than the actual mean so we are using that option there and when I click OK I want to draw your attention to this bit over here it says negative 1 now that negative 1 is telling that we are actually saying that the sample mean is less than the actual mean if that value was 0 then we are actually doing a bi-directional test both sides and if that value was 1 then we are actually assuming that the sample mean is greater than the actual mean so we need to watch for that now this information over here the p-value is 2.87 into 10 raised to the power negative 7 and z value is negative 5 so this clearly tells us that it's a very very small value 2.87 into 10 raised to the power negative 7 now based on this extremely small p-value we accept the alternative hypothesis and reject the null hypothesis now let's look at another question at another soft drink filling facility for the same company a can when fully filled is designed to hold 200 milliliters of the drink the standard deviation for this data population is 6 milliliters now a sample set of 10 cans is taken from this packaging unit the sample set has an average of 197 milliliters of soft drink per can Will it be a valid conclusion to suggest that this unit underfills the cans at 5% level of significance? On the CAS statistics, statistics test, and then the Z test, and then change that to statistics. The capacity is 200 ml, so 200, and that's 6, and 197 was the sample uh, average, and number of samples 10, and we are saying that the sample mean is uh, less than the actual mean. So we see that the p-value is 0.056 which is higher than 0.05 and based on that we actually accept the null hypothesis and reject the alternative hypothesis.